Now, earlier, I had a chance to catch up with a fantastic one. Over 600 career goals. I'm talking about, of course, the one and only, the incomparable tattoo. All right, Dabler, let's talk about your situation with the uh, Dallas Sidekicks in the uh, season of 1994. You're 10 years now into the indoor soccer wars and poised yet for another championship. This has been a pretty good year, and fantastic year, in fact. It's been a surprising year. We, uh, we lost a lot of players in the draft with the, the new franchises, and we thought we were going to drop a level or two. And an amazing thing, we, we stay strong. We got a little luck during the season. We won some games right in the end. But that, you know, that did the experience. And uh, it was a, it's a great year so far, but it's not over until you, you win the championship. You know, what I don't like, we are the favors. You know, <laughs> normally we're the underdogs all the time. So, you know, that, that's dangerous. Like tonight is, is a very difficult game. So we have to really focus and hopefully we can take care of business. What about you for, for you personally? I mean, you know, you're getting to your 10th season now of, of indoor soccer, uh, yet you cont continue to produce the, the consistent numbers. Obviously, consistency is not just something you manufacture. It's something that, that happens night in and night out. What about it for a tattoo? Well, David, you know, the thing is you, you have to motivate yourself, you know, and after 10 years, it's difficult to find ways to motivate yourself to keep playing the game. But, you know, I, I play mind games with myself, and uh, I keep working hard. And I always believe, you know, I'm, a, I'm not the best, and there's always somebody better than I am, and they are trying harder than I am. So I have to stay my toe and keep working hard, and that's, I think that's the, the key, you know. You have to, you know, look be behind or ahead because if somebody's coming or somebody's trying to pull away from you, so you have to work hard. And I just have to tell you, you become the, the second all-time leading scorer in the history of indoor soccer. We're not just talking about the Continental Indoor Soccer League. It's, you really can never rest on your laurels. No, definitely not. And then, and then the, the beautiful thing is, it's like, you know, it's almost in the end of my career. So I'm, I'm in the point where I'm now, you know, I'm looking to those, you know, records and things like that. And I says, man, I can't believe, you know, and I'm right behind Steve Zungle, who to me was, you know, the best indoor player that I ever saw play. I think his, his mind and his ability was, was fantastic. And it surprised me he's not involved in the game coaching because he was, you know, amazed. Not so much for the goals he scored, but so much for the assist and the leadership. You know, I know a lot of people had a little, you know, reservation about him and things like that, but I thought, you know, he was the premier player and still the premier player in uh, indoor in this country. What about playing for a franchise like the Dallas Psychics? Obviously, you've had a lot of experience in soccer. Even before indoor soccer, you played outdoors with the old Tampa Bay Rowdies, but uh, with the Dallas Psychics, uh, you get to fly on the Dallas Mavericks plane. <laughs> There's some amenities when you're in a situation like this. Well, you guys spoil a little bit, you know. It's, it's amazing. We lately we've been able to to use the airplane, and <laughs> you know, it's amazing. Extend your career for you know at least three, four years. It's just something fantastic. You f you land, jump in a bus, take you to the the air uh, hotel or the arena, uh, finish the game. You just jump in a, in a bus or the, the van and take you to the airport and you don't sit there and wait for an hour or two to catch the plane and you just ride in and uh, you know you eat what you want you walk you you know it's, it's fantastic and just top of the line uh, oh it, it is amazing you know that's what one thing i don't i, I can't believe you know those basketball players and <laughs> those guys have their personal <laughs> Playing and they complain, you know. I think that's fantastic. To me, it was it was a dream. Quickly, the future of tattoo, real quick. You still are enjoying this, obviously. How much longer? Oh, I don't know. Maybe another year or two, and then that's it. You know, I think right now is, you know, I want to stay competitive, and I always been one of the top players in, in, in the sport, and I want to stay that way. I don't want to just overdo it because if you go a little longer, and you still, you know, you're not there yet, so you finish and you retire with a better taste in your mouth. I want to retire when I'm gonna doing well, still helping the team to win, and still helping the sport. I just don't want to, you know, just do a little bit too much, then the bad taste was stay okay. in my mouth forever. Well, Tattoo, thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you, Dave. All right, that's Tattoo. We're joining us at halftime. We're back with more of the Continental Indoor Soccer League Game of the Week. It is the Eastern Division semifinal between the Washington Warthogs and Dallas Sidekicks.